Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. I'm Matt Pullen, and this is our place to share all about how to use your iPad creatively in your classrooms. If you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to subscribe, and then you'll be kept up to date on everything that we release. Now let's get stuck into today's video. Okay, so in this video, we're just gonna take a quick look at how you can use Keynote and a couple of the great animation tips within it to do some letter formation opportunities for your younger learners. So let's jump into Keynote. And I'm just gonna create a new presentation. I'm just gonna use a blank, a blank white one because I'm not really fussed about all the backgrounds. I'm gonna get rid of that bottom line of text, tap and delete. And then in this box, I'm just gonna start with the letter A. So I can tap A on the screen. Now this is gonna be a lowercase a. So if I just tap again, I can just delete that first one. It's just a nice quick way to get rid of that A. Now, I've also got the issue here that that A is a little bit too small. So I'm just gonna make sure the box is selected, tap on the paintbrush, go to text. I'm just gonna make that letter A really nice and big. Make sure, sorry, I've got the letter A selected. And just make that really, really big on my screen. So just hold that down just to make it nice and large. Now, the other thing you might notice at this point is that actually the letter A that I'm using here probably isn't the style of A that you would want students to uh, trace over to develop their letter formation because this is more a type font as opposed to being a handwritten font. So I'm going to show you in a second the type of font that I would use in order to do this with students. It just makes it a little bit easier um, rather than having to download other fonts, etc. So there we go. So here's our letter A on the screen. Again, we can, you know, you can make that a lot bigger if you really need to. What I first need to do though is let's change that font. So if I go into the paintbrush, change the fonts, and the one that I find is really, really useful for this is actually the Century Gothic. And you'll see straight away that I have that letter A more in keeping with the, the A that you would use with students in the classroom. Okay, so let's have a look at a little bit of letter formation and what we might do with this. The first thing I might do as a teacher is create a little animation of what I would be expecting the students to do. So if I tap on plus and I go to drawing, you'll see my drawing tools appeared on the bottom. I want to make sure I've got a nice thick colored pen, change that color to something nice and bright so it stands out. And all I need to do now is just trace over that letter, forming it exactly as I would want it. Tap done and you'll see that I've traced over. Now the great thing here for the teacher is, if I tap on that drawing and tap animate, and then I go to add build in and choose line draw, you'll see that that's actually gonna replicate me drawing that letter and creates that nice animation. If I tap done, tap on three dots, choose export and export it as an animated GIF, I can now create something that I can place back into this slide as an idea for what students are expected to do. So I'm gonna tap on export, and I'm just gonna save that to my photo library. Now when I go to plus, go to my photos, you'll see that that GIF is here, that I can place on the screen, and I can give a little indication to the students that I want them to play this. And we'll, you know, there's lots of ways that you can design this page so students understand those things. So I'm just gonna delete out that, this is the, the A that I want students to work on. If they tap on the play, you'll see that they get that example of what they're expected to do. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get students to do this in a little bit more of a fun and interactive way. I'm just gonna drag it from the bottom, take photos, open it to the side. And I've already downloaded a picture of an ant. I'm just gonna use that picture. I'm going to make that ant a little bit smaller so it's easier for them to use and place it at the start point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to animate this. So I tap on animate again but this time I'm going to add action and I'm going to use create path. And you'll see that I get a red dot in the middle of that image. So what I'm going to do here is ask the students to use the ant to go around the letter A and form the same letter formation that I've just shown them in my GIF. And you'll see that as you preview that, you'll get the ant go around the letter A and form the letter that you've asked them to form. So there we go. A really, really simple activity where the students can follow the instruction created by the teacher as a GIF and then have a go at the activity themselves.